Hello everyone, this is Catherine with KK Treasure Store on eBay and we're here to do a unbagging. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so and remember to hit the like button to let YouTube know that uh, you like the, the content. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, remember to hit the bell as well. Okay, today we're doing um, an unbagging of some bags that I bought from the Frugal Gal, and that's T-H-E-F-R-U-G-A-L-G-A-L. And I bought um, five little bags. One was for pendants and sliders. One was assorted jewelry, uh, another another sorted jewelry, and necklaces and Christmas jewelry, and a necklace grab bag. So she has them all in little bags. So let's just kind of take them out. As you know, I always put everything in a container that once I'm finished here with uh, showing everything, it's put in each piece is numbered and put in a little bag and then put back into this little container until I get it photographed and online. So, move that out of the way and let's get started. All right, let's do this little baggie here first. And this one says pendants and sliders. I'm gonna try and go through this very fast today. So y'all bear with me. And also, I apologize. I hurt my field. <laughs> I went to pick up something, and anyone that has nails knows that sometimes if you don't pay attention to the way you're doing it, you're going to break a nail. Well, this nail was about that long, but flipped way down into here and bled and hurt, so I'm a hurt person today. Um, so everybody say, aww, and then we'll get on with the, the video here. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, first pendant. Looks like a little teardrop with some red and clear, um, rhinestones in it. Okay, we're going to put these over here. All right, and then we have, this one looks like it opens. Looks like one of those uh, used to have some kind of cologne in it. It's gold tone. And I don't see any kind of markings. So it's probably Avon though because Avon did a lot of these um, with the stuff in it. Alright, here we have kind of a, a mix match here I guess. We've got little hearts and a cute little owl and a bigger heart. So we'll put those over here too. Alright, now we've got God saw, saw him getting tired, a cure not meant to be. So he wrapped his arms around him and whispered, come with me. Oh, that's gorgeous. I like that. It's on silver tone and in loving memory and a spot down here that you can actually engrave the name of a person. Now this may not be a cross, but we're going to put it right here. There we go. Okay. Now we have this little piece. It's got some green. It's on gold tone. It's got some little um, seed beads. That's kind of cute. And we've got this pendant. It's silver tone. And I'm sorry, people. I do not have my um, magnifying glass over here today. And with my eyes so bad, um, this is marked, but I can't see it. So that's a little black stone. That's pretty. All right, we have a uh, stone, black swirly stone here on a wire. With some little seed pearls there. We have a little gold tone with some 
red. Well, no, those are almost purple. Those are a dark purple. Yeah, those are dark purple. Okay. A little slider here in the shape of a bow. And that's really pretty. It does have some rhinestones right here. You can see those. Alright. And we have a um, 1776 um, I'm take, I don't think that's a real coin, of course. That's just a, a com, commentary. I'm saying it all wrong, but I hope you know what I was saying. But that's really pretty on silver tone. Well, maybe it may be. But, I mean, it's, you know, it says it's a $20 on the back. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay, now we have a little one here, a little slider with the initial C on black background in silver tone. We have a gold tone heart. And that's really pretty. We have another slider with lots of little uh, rhinestones in it. They're really picking up that light. Look at that. Okay. We have a little rose on the silver tone. And that is really pretty too. I'm envisioning these on some single necklaces so um okay we've got a gold tone it's kind of a brush tone here showing a little bit of wear right there kind of a little discoloration but i think that might be able to um, be kind of buffed out so we'll see that's a leaf and another rose and a heart oh that one's heavy That one's really heavy. All right, and silver tone. And we have another one, um, just like the other one with the gold tone, the seed beads and the faux, um, what looks like to be faux turquoise there. And we have a little gold tone here that is a little flower. Looks like it was punched out. That's nice. Okay. All right. Let's go on. All right. These are earrings. So, that just is a plastic. No, well, you know what? I think that's actually a wood painted earring set. Yep. And here's another little um, pendant or charm. Up clear. It's a rose on there. I don't think that. I'm, I'm going to count that as a pendant or charm and put it over there unless I come up with another one. We have a bracelet. Okay, and that is a mauve and black. It's a really pretty bracelet. I don't see any kind of markings in there. That's nice. Bracelets go over there. Okay, we have a bracelet. Gold tone. This one is marked. It has a thing there. And as I stated, I'm sorry I didn't think to bring my magnifying over here so I can't read that. Okay, and we have a little wire bracelet with some green and silver tone. Okay, we have some looks like ancient silver tone with um, that in there. I don't know. Let me bring it up so you can see it better. Hopefully. There you go. Okay. Those 
first. We have some silver tone. Looks like just little um, plastic um, light blue stone in there. Oops. These are marked with a KC on the back. So if you know what KC is, let's see, there you go, KC. Looks like a line and then says KC behind it. Please comment down below and let me know. Remember, I'm just learning all of this stuff, so I need lots of help. <laughs> all right, we have a gold tone with rhinestone. Pierced. And I don't see anything on those. Those are pretty. We have a pendant, or rather a brooch here. Gold tone. This kind of looks like a, um, a circular wreath kind of thing. And that's nice. gold tone with this um, looks like a brown metallic ball in the middle. Right, we have a tie tack silver tone with a black stone. Don't see any kind of mark. Okay, we have some plastic pierced earrings that are in the shape of apples. There you go. Alright, we have a bracelet with a tassel. This is a gold tone. Alright, now this is where my eyes are bad, people. Part of it looks, it looks like a gold tone, but it also looks silver tone. So, my eyes are are not going to be correct on this one, so I'm going to let you see it, and you be the judge. Is that gold tone or silver tone? I don't know. <laughs> you can let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> Alright, put that there. All right, we have some screw backs here. They have the motion down at the bottom. And pull them up so you can see them better. Looks like some rhinestones. That's kind of pretty. We'll roll back there. And here we have a little gold tone rope bracelet. And I don't see any kind of marks on this one. So, let's we'll put that one right there. Alright. Alright, we have a little silver tone bracelet with um, spacers and those almost look like tiger's eye, but they're not. So I don't know what they're called, but that's really pretty. I like that. Sometimes it's just the simplest of things that's the prettiest, or at least to me. Okay, now somebody's made this, and this is really pretty. It's got a toggle, uh, toggle clasp up here. I don't see any kind of marks on it. But that's a real pretty blue and white mesh bracelet there. That's pretty. Okay, we got pocket watch. If I can get it untangled down here. Come on, there you go. Alright, we got on here. Alright, it's got a looks like a 
sailing ship. Oh, it's not a pocket watch. There. Okay, that's a locket. Silver tone, and then this is gold tone. So that's gold tone, and this is all silver tone. That's really, really pretty on a nice chain. Okay, so that's the necklace. It goes there. Okay, we have just two. Let's see, what are these? All right, these are clip backs. Just lightweight little ring earrings there. Okay, we have, oh, this is pretty. A little silver tone bracelet with multicolor stones. See that? And I'm not seeing any kind of mark. But then, of course, with my eyes. <laughs> and I can't get that open, so. Well, it helps to open on the right side of it. Nothing there, and nothing there. Okay. This is a really pretty bracelet. I really like this. looks like to be a pendant and it's black with some yellow gold on the inside kind of a mute gold color and it does say something on the back let's see if I can get it up here can you see that what does that say hopefully you can see it good I can't read that. What does that say? Please comment in the comment section and let me know. All right, we have a little pin here. Looks like an apple. We have a stick pin with a heart and a little rhinestone. gold tone. We have a pendant. Looks like an elephant with some rhinestones. A little bit of cream color um, going there. Of course it's trunks up so that's good luck. Another pendant. This one's flower and it kind of looks like an ancient uh, silver tone. That's kind of pretty. Alright, and then we have this is, is plastic. Um, just a uh, it looks like a navy blue and silver tone links bracelet. Okay, I got bags falling. All right, we have just a pair, or rather a pair, listen to me. You don't have a pair here. This is a pink beaded necklace. A red beaded. This is almost a baked apple kind of red necklace. And beads. And here we have a yellow plastic chain. Whoops. There we go. Get a better look at it. And uh, no markings. 
and I have a very pretty plastic um, seed bead necklace. Those are actually clear seed beads. That's pretty. And our final little bag. Okay, this is quite Christmassy. It's red and green with some silver tone beads bracelet, stretch bracelet. And then here we have a necklace. Looks like it's got some blue, different colors of blue. Um, almost a teal blue because it looks, and some of them look a bit green. You see those with a little bit of clear or cloudy, if you want to call them that, gray cloudy beads. That's okay. Get off of there. Not wanting to put, do what I want it to do. <laughs> Okay, we have some gingerbread. Here's the earrings. We have an angel pin with an American flag behind her. Okay, we have a black plastic um, necklace with a claw, claw clasp. Right. We have a tangle there. Let me go on with some of the others and then I'll do that last. Alright, we have candy cane earrings pierced, red and white crystals. We have a um, silver tone bead and it looks like uh, with a little bit of red on it, different Christmas theme charms on it. Yeah, that's a stretchy. Tie tack, silver tone, or is that a cuff tack? I don't know. Whatever this is. <laughs> and then we have the tie tack here. Looks like it has a lion. Can you see this? Let me get it up here so that maybe. Get it to focus in on it. There you go. It looks like a lion with a, a shield. Or something with a shield. Bunny rabbit. I don't know. <laughs> we have those. Okay. We have a Christmas wreath with a candle. Lobster Claw, Silver Tone. Oh, that's pretty. See that? That is pretty. Really like that one. With a little teal, um, blue teardrop 
this down. And now, for your entertainment. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to separate that. My bad. Okay, it's a three strand. Okay, I can't get it straight at the moment. But it's got, one of them's got a little leaf, silver tone leaf. The other's got a silver tone feather. And then this one that wants to be completely tangled has just the little gold uh, silver tone balls with the three blue balls there. And I apologize that until I can just sit down and get it all straightened out. You get the idea what it is on silver tone chain. So there's that. Okay, um, that was my haul. Uh, like I said, I bought them from the frugal gal on um, YouTube uh, on from one of her videos. So if you see her, check her out. That's T H E F R U G A L G A L, and go and check her out. Now, if you like the video, please remember to hit thumbs up, hit the bell for more notifications of future videos, as well as subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any remarks on any of the jewelry, please remember to make them down into the comments. And if, you, if I've asked a question and you know an answer, please also put that down to help me out with the um, comments there. I'd really appreciate it. All right, thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.